That thing is sick. Yeah, when do I get a Mercedes? When do you get a Mercedes? When we get a hundred thousand. So we are back on the cord, and today what we want to do is uh, remove the core support and the frame rail. Uh, so to do that, we need to go ahead and drop this subframe, and uh, probably go ahead and drop that suspension as well, uh, and end up stripping everything so we can paint the entire engine bay. What do you think, Vlad? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Might it's, as well, it's already there. It's all on a few bolts though, because I pretty much had it dropped, so that's good. We just got to take care of the steering rack. And we're gonna take apart probably inside there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we gotta expose that firewall real good. Yeah, I'm thinking we just maybe even take out the glove box, take all that out, and just peel yeah, it back. Take the carpet back, make sure that should be fine. It's yeah. uh, there may be seam sealer back there that we might have to strip off before we start welding. Yeah, I don't know. That way it doesn't catch on fire. Uh, oh, but wow. we do need that little belt file sander, and I think uh, ours needs a rebuild. So instead of because we can't get the rebuild so we're going to go and borrow v-tunes we need to order that tip for ours though yeah because we got to get that thing fixed we can't do anything without it so we're going to run down to ben's real quick and uh get that and then Vlad is going to go ahead and strip off as much stuff as possible and uh hopefully it doesn't take us too long and we'll be back to help him get this subframe off and uh hopefully ben will let us use his tool Boss, boss, cameraman be making some cheese. That thing is sick. Yeah, when do I get a Mercedes? When do you get a Mercedes? When we get a when we get a hundred thousand. Okay, hundred thousand subs. I'll, I'll buy him a Mercedes. I will. If we get a hundred thousand subscribers, I'll buy Nate a Mercedes. Wait, is this the stuff? Yeah, I got you that. It's it's still it's still full. Dang, son, nothing like that smell. It's like, it's like cocaine for welders. Dude, check out the suspension, though. I see now on Instagram today. That's, the That's upper, legit. The upper control arm, lower control arm. What's that power steering rack from? That's for her. Oh, that came with it? They sent that to you? Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to order it today. It takes about a day or two. Yeah. All right, appreciate it, gentlemen. You're going to our tool, mate. Right then. All right, so uh, we just got back from Ben's shop, and Vlad has absolutely annihilated everything on the front of this car. Everything's just gone. He's a beast. Let's see what he's doing. Annihilating the interior. Dang, bro. Yeah, that's right. Vlad decided to take the dashboard out uh, because there's, I think, six or seven spot welds right behind that dash, and that material right there is not fireproof it will catch on fire plus we need to tap the firewall out just a little bit so removing that dashboard is an excellent idea i think and uh also we'll be able to spray everything back there after we weld so really good idea uh right now what we need to do is run over to atlas bolt and grab a couple of things we need from there uh vlad you want to run down there with me real quick yeah we can go all right uh, and then when, once we get back we are going to open up some fan mail super excited about that big old box huge all right so the first one is this small one here which is a bunch of stickers which i'm going to be sticking everywhere look at that that's pretty cool that's the m3 right there can you see it can you see it yeah and then we got some certified stickers yes sir and the gentleman who sent these out to me uh, did not want to be named, but we are very much appreciative of the love and support. Thank you so much. I might have to get some made and start selling them. And then this is from another one of you guys who has been following us for a long time. He owns Alaska Airlines, just so you guys know. He's a billionaire, trillionaire, quadruplin here. Uh, let's see, this is for Vlad. Oh, that's nice. So we can't open that because that's for Vlad. And then we got, yo, these are some nice That's hoodies. clean, dude. Yo, I like that. Bruh, I'm gonna be wearing that tomorrow when it snows. I think there's a card in here so we can read it. Right here. Kevin, what is that, Ken Fitz? Uh -huh. Skinner Hound. Skinner Hound, the legend. See what it says Ooh. here. 
Oh, you got them. I like that. Hello, Yuri and Nate. My name is Kevin Fitz, aka Skinnerhound. My son Ken and I have been subscribers of VTune, Motorhead, and 23rd Garage since they each began. They're my favorite channels, hands down. Your individual skills, work ethic, and unique talents are really amazing. As you can see in the picture, my son, who is an airline mechanic, and I like old iron, mostly Chevrolet square body pickup, square body trucks, vets, and Paulas, kind of a sickness, lol. I wish I lived closer to Chattanooga. You could finish my 67 Camaro that lingers in first primer. That would be great content for your channel. I hope you find it. time to do that C10 shortly truck for your dad. I don't want and sadly they're a hot item. I can't read all of it because I'm going to run out of breath, <laughs> but I sure will read all of it. And uh, in the end right here, it says, in closing, we want you to know that we, like so many others around the world, stand with Ukraine. We are heartbroken by what is happening and we pray for peace. I know you have family still there and you all will remain in our prayers. May the peace of the Lord always be with you. Slava Ukraini. Kevin, Kathy, and Ken Fitz. Man, that's that's very, like, it's very touching, I have to say. We really do appreciate this, bro. This is, uh, it's, it, it's, it's very uh, heartwarming. It's going to make me cry. <laughs> It's literally gonna make me cry. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, that's the card, okay. More shirts. Man, this guy went all out. I'm talking about all out. How, how did he know? What? How did he know? Yeah, how? how? He's been listening to us. Yo, how did he know? See, I was trying to buy Nate one of these for his birthday. Remember? <laughs> Which is in like two days, so you got lucky there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, see, it's addressed to Yuri, so now I can re-gift it to Nate as okay. my own gift. Okay, okay. I appreciate you, bro. I really do. Now, these these are, this is definitely Nate's. This is going into your box, bro. You got something else in here? Who's that for? This is for... For the big boss. I feel like Dad. it's Christmas, bro. <laughs> that hey, that's perfect for him. He does walk around here like the police. Hey. So we are going to hide this. We're gonna put it on his desk. Alright, what else we got here, sir? It does feel like Christmas, doesn't it, Nate? Yes, sir. Look at that. Yeah, you need that. You need that. 100 percent Man, these are nice. I'm about to put these on, literally. Yeah, that's what that Bro, is. Kevin. Kevin, you, you're crazy, man. That's all I got to say. Golly. Kevin gonna make Is me cry. That? Kevin gonna make me cry. You know I gotta put it on, Nate. Yeah, you always gotta. Bro. I'm literally gonna need this. Like, all this stuff came in, like, right on time. Literally. Like, for the car that we're doing right now. Uh, see, Kevin's a smart man. He knows what he's doing. Bro. I'm not gonna be wanting to take this thing off. This thing is nice. All right, what is this? Yuri, these mats are better than a creeper. Great on cement and under dash if you want. Another one, let me know. Oh, that's dope. Yo. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, dude, if you lay it on oil or something, it's not going to seep through. That's, that's a nice mat. Appreciate nice that, man. Kevin. I really do. See, the man just knows what he needs. He, he definitely be watching our channel. Yo, yo, he definitely be watching our channel, bro. This is like probably the best glass cleaner. All right, so we are armed with some awesome new tools and we got to get back to work. Nate, you gonna use this thing right here? Yeah.
number three, ten years ago, was released today from the federal penitentiary after serving 11 years of a 10 to life sentence. To this day, the quarter of a million in gold bullion involved in the original crime has not been recovered. Police officials doubt the gold can be recovered, pointing out that should the gold be found by Tarpet, the insurance company had the first claim. Quarter of a million in gold, and this guy used to be a father. Hey, I'd sure like to meet this guy. Alright, so it's Monday, we are back on the cord, and uh, what I think Nathan is going to start doing now is uh, simply cleaning off all the areas that need to be welded back together, uh, the seam sealer, and uh, probably surface these holes a little bit. Yeah. That way we can spray them with some weld through, and in the meantime, I will be drilling out the donor piece. So, let's get this thing knocked out. got our donor piece all drilled out and separated and now we want to try to uh, install this subframe right here. What do you think Vlad? Is it going to pull right on? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Does it go underneath them lines? Just like that? Alright, try yours now. Going, huh? Oh yeah, we're getting good, smooth. All right, so the subframe mounted on beautifully. We got all the bolts hand threaded in before we ran them in there, so that's always a good sign. So we are going to go ahead and test fit this frame rail and see how much more pulling we might have to do. Hopefully none. Exactly. 
Exactly. All right, so we got our frame rail on, and we use these uh, bolts right here from Atlas Bolt Co. to bolt it onto the firewall temporarily. These are very nice because they give us adjustability. We can tighten them down and loosen them and stuff. A lot better than self tappers. Plus, you can get like thicker piece of metal in, uh, you know, a lot better. So, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and weld the actual rail. Uh, because we do have to put a slight tug on it right here. It is a little bit bent. Lab did provide us with a bent frame rail. That's okay. It's very hard to find stuff like this that hasn't had some sort of damage to it. So I'm going to go ahead and weld it on. Uh, probably go ahead and weld it on solid because it's all in its spot. It's just that the end of it right here just needs a slight tweak that way. So we really can't do anything to it unless it's solid on the car but we've got it bolted onto the subframe and it's in its spot and i just tried this piece right here it fits perfectly so feeling pretty confident as far as welding goes so we're gonna go ahead and weld it in yeah All right, so we got the rebar on, we got the core support on, we've got the hood on, uh, we've got that fender on like one bolt over there by the door. Uh, everything as far as the frame rail goes has been welded up and is ready to be finished off and seam sealed. And then I'm not going to weld the core support in just yet because we don't have that fender. Uh, Vlad did not know that he needed that fender and uh, we ordered it like three or four days ago and it still hasn't arrived. So kind of kind of under the gun there, but that's okay. Uh, what do you think? Maybe it'll be here today or tomorrow? Yeah, it'll be here tomorrow. Y'all are gonna be gone, but. Yeah, so the reason why I don't wanna weld this, uh, I wanna install the headlights first and line the fenders up with the doors and the hood and the headlights and then put even put the front bumper on it. And then once we know everything is in its spot, then we'll go ahead and weld up the core support. Uh, since we won't be here tomorrow, Vlad will take care of all the holes on the support. You dr you drilled them out. You got to make them again. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know that. Yeah, that's good. So you'll make all those holes, get everything prepped for us, and then yeah. once we get back, you know, hopefully that fender will be here. We'll get that thing welded up and get this thing off the frame rack. Yeah, get that engine back in and get it back on the road. Need yeah. to be driving it. It looks really good though. So far, so far, if you look, the fender. And the hood, everything lines up beautifully. 
We got, you know, good door gaps. Might need to adjust them just a hair, but everything lines up really good. Uh, we do need to find, Vlad, you're going to have to find all the original bolts for this car. Yeah, I need to go make a junkyard run. So yeah, that. so when the insurance company took it apart, they kept some of the bolts. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And also check us out on Instagram at 23rd underscore garage. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.